Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Modern Beauty. My name is Amanda and today I figured we would do a 2018 beauty favorites. So these are things that I have discovered and used, rediscovered um, and have used them in the past and then started using them again recently or have never used them before and this year have just stumbled upon them and started using them and have loved them. So without further ado, let's dive in and get into my 2018 beauty favorites. So the first one, which has been blowing up since its release, um, is the James Charles palette. I did not, I just started watching James this year and have really been impressed with his professionalism and the style of his channel. And so when this came out and he started promoing it, I was like, oh, that's very interesting. And like, let me say he is so good at doing plugs, like self-promoting. It's kind of funny to me how, how good he is. It's like shameless and it. it's great. It's good. Um, anyway, so I got this because I was sold on the idea of it. I was really attracted to the whole Unleash Your Inner Artist. Um, I'm also very much impressed with the color choices that I saw um, from the videos that I was watching um, and upon receiving it I have been super impressed with the formulas and again like I said seeing the colors in person just super impressed with it um, and I've really enjoyed using it I haven't gotten to experiment as much with it as I would like as far as you know unleashing my inner artist is concerned but um, the colors that I have used I've really enjoyed and I'm looking forward to playing with it some more so mucho props to him Next, I am loving this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is the shade, um, I think it might just be the middle shade, it's called Bronzer, it's 6676, I don't know if that's helpful, but I like, I think it's super cute packaging, it has sort of, you know, that tropical feel. But holy moly, I think the, probably one of the best parts about it is the smell because it just smells tropical. It smells beachy. It smells oh, so good. Um, it's a super silky formula, which I also really like, and I like the, um, the actual application of it. So I've been impressed with this. I really like it, and for the price, can't beat it. So I stumbled upon this product, and I didn't really know what to expect with it. I was looking for um, more of a plummy color, not purple, but kind of a plum. Um, and I came across this, and this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush um, in the shade Spiced Plum, and I've used this in quite a few of the tutorials recently. And it's just, it's a super, super pretty color. This is like my favorite blush color. Um, and so I love that. I also like the design of the packaging. So you flip it up and you've got the blush there. But then you can also flip it down and you've got, you know, a mirror and a brush that I'm never going to use but um, you've got a mirror and a brush there in case you were like you know crazy thrown in your bag for a brush or didn't want to bring a brush you had something so moving on to lip products I have quite a few of them because hello I love lip products like lipstick is like my favorite um, and Given I have, my heart really belongs to Lip Sense. Um, I love Lip Sense. I think it's amazing. I think it's the best product out there on the market right now. And I've discovered um, this, this color is amazing. It is called Glam Doll. And it's kind of like a mauvey red brown, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to describe the color of it that well, but you can see here on in this swatch. And it's just, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's the perfect fall color and winter color and it just, it has my heart and it was, um, 
It was seasonal for a while where as soon as it sold out it was done and I nabbed it then and it's kind of come back in and out seasonally and it came back and I don't know if they're going to keep it this this time forever but I hope they do because I've been like just you know buying it up like crazy. It's amazing. I love this color. So that has been a favorite for me this year. Also I have fallen in love. I've had this color for a while but I didn't use it until this year and it's called Kiss for a Cause. It's a super bright hot pink but I realized it complements so many of my clothing like so many of my shirts and my dresses that during the summer it is one of my go-to colors and I've loved this this year. Also with lip scents, I have been struggling with finding the perfect nude and this is it. Um, I love the color Bella and that is this right here and it is amazing. It is my absolute favorite lip scents color of all time. It is just, it, it is my color. Let's just put it that way. Like if I'm going to wear any lipstick, that's the color that I'm going to choose for like a, like a day to day. But I've been looking for like a nude color and I've had a hard time figuring out what works for me because Bella's too a little like mauve and um, all of the nudes are either too nude um, or they're, they pull too peachy, which in this case there's a color, color called First Love and it's a very peachy nude and it's very matte so it just doesn't it doesn't wear well on me um, but I did this I layered first love which is that peachy color Bella which is that mauve color and then another layer of first love and that's it here we go this is my this is my nude and I love it so much so I've been really loving that lately um, and I'm very excited to have discovered that lastly for lips this is not a lip sense product I know it's surprising because I pretty much only use lip scents but I've been eyeing this lip product for a really long time and I've just loved the metallic look of it um, and it is the Lime Crime Velveteen in Raisin Hell and this was a color that was in the Winter Berry tutorial and I've loved this like I'm impressed with for it not being lip sense, I'm very impressed with the the quality of it, given it's not as good as lip sense still. But it's next the next best I have found. Um, it it doesn't transfer once it's on for the most part. It still will budge if you're like uh, you know with your face. But for the most part, it does not transfer. It stays put and it's beautiful. I love it. I love this metallic. Um, so I've really been digging that and I think it's such a great winter color. So Lime Crime Velveteen Raisin Hell. I found this. This was a find for me and I just, I think this is going to be in my favorites until the end of time. Um, but it is this, what they call a wonder blender and it's from AOA Studio, that's the brand, but you get it at shopmissa.com. And it's a buck guys, it's a dollar and in comparison to the beauty blender, it's, it's so good in comparison, um, that it's, it's worth, it's worth the dollar. So go out and get a bunch of these, like, I don't know, you could get, place a whole order with these alone. And it's so, it's. They have different shapes and stuff on there too for your preference, but it's super cute. I, I ordered a bunch of these. They're just, they're great. Um, they're great for gifts too. And um, it's just, it's super bouncy when it gets wet. It's, it's great. So that is, I love it. I just did it. Next up is what you all have seen. I did a review on this. Um, it is the Clarisonic Mia Smart. I really, really love my Clarisonic. And like I said in the review video that I did, if you're into skincare and if that's important to you, it's worth it. Like, I like my Clarisonic so much and I've seen an improvement in my skin with the way it feels, with the way it looks. I really like it. So I think that if you're into beauty, which if you are watching this channel, you probably are. If you're into skincare, it's worth the investment. And I think this is a very good middle of the road product for what you can get from Clarisonic. So 
if you're if you're in that route, you don't really know where to go. This fits all the brush heads. This is just kind of an all around. This is a good option. Um, so yeah, I love this. This is kind of my baby purchase this year. My my little uh, investment baby purchase. Um, so I, when I say baby, I baby it. Not that it was a baby investment, but I guess it was kind of that too. Um, in any case, so I love my Clarisonic Mia Smart. That has been one of my favorite things this year. So I bleached my hair this year. And if you've been hanging around, if you know in the past, I used to have red hair, bright red hair loved it and then um, it got to a point where it ended up I was using a stain and the stain just darkened my hair so it was no longer the vibrant red that I once loved and had gotten from the product and so since it was a stain it wouldn't just come out so the only way to get rid of that color was to bleach my hair and which is fine because this was actually the color that I wanted to go to anyway but of course when you bleach your hair and when you're going from a, a much darker shade it's very damaging there's no way to get around that but these are two products that I um, have been uh, they were lifesavers for my hair but they are an absolute staple I mean still as I have bleached hair but I love these so if you struggle with um, dry hair, if you struggle with breaking hair, these two products are amazing. This is my second bottle. This is the first one. This is the Made and Tail Hair Strengthener and it's a daily leave-in conditioning treatment. I love this. This is my second bottle of it. Um, so I've been using that since I've had bleached hair. Also, it's this Ion Repair um, Effective Care Treatment. It's, it's like a basically a deep conditioning mask. So you can put it on for up to, well, for up to 10 minutes, it says, for extremely damaged hair. I love this. It's amazing. Um, they have, like, if you go to Sally's Beauty or any kind of store like that, they've got, like, little packets of it. But it's way more cost-effective to just get the big bottle, especially if you're dealing with something like this. So this next product, it is one of my favorites because I think it has a lot of potential and I've loved it so far, but it is something, it is a product you have to master and it takes time and I'm still mastering it. So there are some, some love-hate relationship there, but I, I generally love it. Um, I like the concept of it. It's better than what el the other things that I've had and used. Um, I struggle with nails. I struggle with um, not wanting to go to the salon all the time um, to get my nails done. I want something at home that I can do, but I also don't want to invest a lot of time in it. And I hate my nails when they look chipped. So anyway, it's just been a mess and I haven't figured out that one miracle product yet. But I feel like I might be a step closer. Um, I got this for Christmas and this is the, um, the Gelish Dip. Um, bottle set um, and then you buy the actual dip powders and this is my favorite so far it's the only one I've used this is the black cherry berry and it is what I have on my nails right now um, and then so you have you can get this kit and it comes with um, you you prep your nails with this you have a base coat and then you'll do the base coat and the dip powder in between and then you have an activator which activates that gel, a top coat, and then a brush cleaner. And so far I really like it. It definitely is something that um, is going to take practice and it's going to take some experimenting to figure out what works best for you. With that, I don't think it's a, it's a one, one fix-all, one fit-all for the instructions. I think there's some playing with it and I haven't quite mastered it. It does take some time. I might do a full review with it in the future if that's something you're interested in, but um, I think it's, I, I like it. I think it's a, it's so far I've been really happy with the results. I just, there are some tweaks that I need to work out with it. So there's that. So another nail product that I've been super impressed with, aha, it's, it's a joke, it's a pun because they're the impress nails, um, press on manicures. Um, I've been impressed with this product really because the last time I've used press on nails was when I was a child and they fell off and it was like what what are you doing what's the point why am I why am I buying this 
but these are awesome. I'm amazed with how long they last and they're super cute. So lastly, beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and all different types of things. So I like to think of beauty as way more than just makeup, it's skincare, it's anything that makes you feel good about yourself and beautiful. So this one's a little bit different, but it was a splurge for a Christmas gift that I gave to myself. And it's something that I had been wanting for a while. So to add to my collection, I got a new tattoo. And it is my favorite. It is probably the thing I am most excited about this year in this, you know, beauty related favorites. Um, and so you may have seen peaks of it here and there, but I'll show you part of it here and then I'll insert a picture. As you can see, it is this floral piece that goes from my collarbone all the way down my shoulder. So you can see the full picture here. I will insert it. But yeah, so that has probably been my favorite beauty item this year. So that wraps up my 2018 beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to know what some of your 2018 beauty favorites were or are. And even not even just 2018, what are some of your top favorite beauty items um, that you've discovered? So drop me a comment below if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to join the Mod Squad and get more content like this delivered right into your subscription page, then go ahead and hit that subscribe, subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I hope you are enjoying the new year and I will see you in the next video. Bye!